You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because of You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because of You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because of You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because of You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because of You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because of You break my heart into a thousand pieces and you say it's because I deserve better? Welcome back. My name is still Philip and tonight I want to show you a couple of my favorite places in my neighborhood. The first of which is a river called Katabira Gaba or Katabiba River. It's about 10 minutes away from my house. It's today I just skipped a good part of the walk there. Uh, what you see here is a dried part of the river. This river seems to have had many arms in the past. If you walk the area you can see many small channels like this one on the right here going off. I'm not actually sure what the trees are beside the rivers. They may be cherry trees or something else. But as we go into cherry season now, I should be able to find out soon. And on my way to the river, I often just like to stand there, linger, take a look and enjoy the calmness like that day there aren't many people there usually which is quite nice This river stretches quite a way and has a lot of uh, bridges along the way. I have yet to cross all of them, but I have been to the other side of the river. There is a huge park uh, around a nice little mountain. This by the way also seems to be a former riverbed, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I have yet to find an old map of uh, Tsurugamine that would show what it looked like before everything was canalized. What we are coming up to see now is um, one of the stairs that go down. I guess they were originally made for people to fish. You can see uh, many people fishing in Japan's rivers all around, even in Tokyo. 
but I just like to go down there and sit, drink a beer, have a cigarette. I wrote a bunch of poetry there last spring and last summer, which I'm not going to share here, but you can find it on my Instagram. For some reason only this side of the river can really be accessed easily, the other side seems to be entirely closed down. But uh, on days like this when the river hardly has any water you could easily walk to the other side. I just do not have the required rain boots. And sadly of course like every river in the world this one carries trash which I sometimes fish out and then bring to a dustbin. I don't know if this is particularly dust uh, dirty or not, but I always have the impression it could be cleaner maybe. If the water was more wild and not stopped at every, bo uh, every way. That lifesaver has been there since about six months in the same place. I have no idea where to hang it, so I'm just also always just leaving it there. And sometimes you have to be very careful because people tend to ride their bicycles relatively fast. There you have a really beautiful view towards Tsudokamine station on the left, this big living tower there. I really, really like this place. So, this is a temple that is very close, the name of which I have not yet figured out. As I was sick, I had to make the second part of this video in March, unlike about a week late. I had a fun little infection, luckily no corona. This is actually a graveyard, believe it or not. Doesn't look like one because there are no gravestones, but uh, these bodhisattvas and the fact that you can actually go and burn incense there, which is what you do in this little thing in front of the graveyard, uh, seems to mean that this, these are actually still active graves. Actually, in Japan you get cremated though. These graves look like they may be containing bodies. And yes, I have a gimbal now, so no more shaky cam, as far as I can help it. So, to show you a bit what this looks like, um, you basically take a little bundle of incense and you burn them up all at once. Do you see the paper there? And then you, put, you take the paper off once they're burning and you put them on this little roast and just leave them there. So it's not like what you would do at home, you wouldn't burn 
down a single incense you take the whole package burn it down at once as a gift to the ancestors or whoever is buried there If you have seen the first video, you will recognize this little side street. Um, on the left will be one of the older houses I pointed out in that video. If you haven't seen it and you don't get motion sick easily, I invite you to go back and take a look at it. Here is said house. On the left right there is my house. If you want to say hello, send me a message before you come, otherwise I will not let you in. And right in front of me is my, well, I would say from the outside anyway, favorite sushi place because I love this neon sign. At the beginning of the video we turned right here to get down to the river and we're gonna turn right here again to get to the second of four graveyards. Tsurugamine must have been an area beforehand uh, that was probably mostly farmland, uh, so I assume that these little graveyards were originally on the property or close by the property of people who owned the farmland and they are still basically just the families that are buried there. They are not publicly uh, open graveyards where you could just go and take a, a place. They are wholly private owned. And believe it or not, behind this car park, there is a little graveyard. It took me about a week walking past it to notice it. And here you can see the gravestones, uh, so the full arrangement in the front with the place where you put the incense. The one in the back there is probably the oldest still active one and here to the left we have older gravestones that have been moved aside. I cannot tell you how old they are and I'm not gonna wager any guesses but probably hundreds of years. Of course, I respect the wishes of the family and do not enter the graveyard, despite the fact that it would be quite interesting to take a closer look at some of the older gravestones. You can see the wind was quite blowing that day. And here you can see a date. Um, Heisei Juhachinen uh, Kogatsu, so Heisei 18, 18 uh, in May. And here you see first, I believe this is the name that is given to you when you die, then the date of your death, and then your 
actual family name and perhaps the place in the family. I forgot the exact order. It's been a while since somebody explained it to me. But all these people have died in the last 20 years roundabout. We go straight ahead for about five minutes. We come to the street where I entered the uh, way to the river. And now, surprise, here's another one. Definitely older, but also still very actively uh, used. Clearly gated. Again, not to enter. The third graveyard is very, very, very small, and as you can see, just in the middle of residential area over there is a 7-Eleven. People just live here. And I've, this is, I think, the last one I found uh, because it's kind of hidden from sight. And since I would usually just go straight down and over there to the 7-Eleven to make my daily shopping. And here's the last one, which is closer to my house, right next to a car park. Also a mix of older sto gravestones and newer ones. This one is open, but again, I will not enter out of respect. And yes, this thing in the front is really a lantern as, far, lantern as far as I have been told. And there are some old, 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 old houses. They will be from the 50s. Um, just based off what I know from photos, uh, I have a couple of photo books from Yokohama in Tokyo where you can see this kind of house and this one is actually uh, you can see it at the gas bottle somebody's literally living there which is incredible to me because the house must have very thin walls the windows are surely not very well isolated so it will be bloody cold in this in the winter and really 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 hot in the summer This is also definitely older, uh, most likely 60s, part of a lot, little shopping front. And you can see here there are still some shops uh, visible on the left of the street. A couple of them are actually still uh, active. Like there is a dog salon, this is the place with the little fence in front. Next to it is a little truck store and besides that is a shop that mostly sells alcohol and some other things. I often go there to buy uh, good and usually pricely reduced wine. I wonder if I could film inside there. Maybe I will ask the owner if they allow me to do that. Then I can take you in. Otherwise I will not. Here's a hairdresser and a dentist and then a a noodle shop, I believe, they are specialized in soba or udon. Well, that's it for this time around. The next video will hopefully be uploaded in time for the end of this month.